Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace. I've been seeing a lot of um, authors using this book and want to know what all the fuss was about, so I recently got it. And today I'm gonna we're gonna start reading it and seeing what's up. So far, um, I really like it, and I'm just working my way through the beat sheet. I'm not gonna lie, I think this book is amazing. Both the book that I'm outlining and also the book I'm using to outline it. <laughs> I am absolutely loving the Save the Cat book outlining process. It's It's been amazing. When I first started writing years ago. Um, I didn't outline at all. I just um, followed every plot bunny into the sunset and my stories were kind of a disaster as a result. And then, I don't know, about five years ago I started outlining, which was essentially me writing down everything that I brainstormed about the story on 3 by 5 cards like this. Um, and then I would put them all out on the floor and arrange them in what looked like, you know, the proper order. Um, and then when I wrote the novel, if I would think of another scene or whatever, I would quickly fill out another card and shuffle it in wherever I thought it would go in the story. And that's essentially how I outlined. And that's how I've done the last four or five novels that I've written. And it's worked fairly well. But when I did the outlining just the other day um, with the Save the Cat, it was amazing. It was so, it was so perfect. I can't even describe how perfect it was. It wasn't outlining at random and figuring out which pieces of the story went where as I went along. Like we started at the beginning, I did anyway, I started right at the beginning at the first beat and just worked my way through the entire beat sheet and it was, it was amazing. Okay, uh, the other day when I started using the Save the Cat stuff, and I went through the whole beat sheet, um, I was outlining my fantasy novel that's sort of been in the back of my mind for several years now, and I had started, I've written like a chapter or something, because that's how I tend to start stories. If I get a story idea, I just sit down and write, and it tends to be one or two chapters, and then I come back and do my outlining and brainstorming it, making a timeline and stuff. So anyway, I have a chapter ish of my fantasy story from like five years ago so it's probably not very good and then um i had written out a brief like history of the world um to do some world building back when i first started writing it and i had created a map with my sister which i still have anyway so that is the story that i used to go through the beach sheet and i can't stop touching my hair for some reason this coming weekend um is well, I guess when this video is live. Today! <laughs> it's not today, but it's today for you. Anyway, is the 10K Writing Challenge. So I will be writing the story that I have now used the Save the Cat with, and we'll see if it goes differently than writing other projects. But today I'm going to um, keep working through the book, because we've made it to um, Not Your Mother's Genres. Ten genres to fit any story. Yes, even yours. So we'll see, we'll see what's up. Needed some brain food to finish this exercise. I have been um, 
reading all the chapters on the various different um, Save the Cat genres. And um, I already know which one mine is, my story, but I thought it was kind of a fun thing to do, just reading each chapter and then making notes and trying to fit my story into every genre, just to kind of just to have fun, but also to reassure myself that um, they definitely were the wrong genres. <laughs> Okay, well, I finished um, the Save the Cat book from beginning to end over the last couple days. I've outlined with the beach sheet and I wrote a log line and all of the various things. I didn't do a synopsis because I figured I'll do that after I actually write the book.